everyone. How's it going? I am back and very excited about today's video topic because I love denim. I work in fashion design, apparel design, what have you. And I work on a denim brand. Not that that matters because everyone wears jeans. They're just versatile. Obviously you can make them look really, really cool nowadays. So I just wanted to do a video talking about my faves. I'll share a little bit about what I look for in jeans because like everyone else, I've got my own personal struggles. Of course, they're like one of the least fun things to have to try on when you really, really need a pair because they're just so personalized. No one pair from any one brand is the same. And so today we are focusing on me and what I look for, and hopefully that can help you guys out in your search as well. So without further ado, let's get into what I look for and what I don't look for in denim. So my main struggle when it comes to jeans is the gapping in the back. Every pair that I try on from high-end, low-end, stretch, rigid and everywhere in between gaps on me for unknown reasons <laughs> to describe my body type a little bit um i'm fairly tall i'm 5'9 um but i don't typically look for tall length denim um just because i prefer more of like an ankle grazing kind of uh length on myself i don't really have wide hips but i do have kind of thicker thighs and a thicker butt in comparison uh, to my waist. So that does create gapping. And yeah, like I said, that's my main struggle. So when I look for jeans, I am looking for something that's probably at least got some comfort stretch. I actually prefer if jeans aren't super, super stretchy, but if I'm looking retail, and I mean, when I say retail, I mean uh, like non-vintage, I am looking for something that's probably like 98% cotton, 2% span. Um, that's like the sweet spot I found in terms of getting things that are comfortable, but still kind of suck you in, hold onto your body um, in a comfortable way and flattering way. The other downside of buying jeans that have too much stretch in them, you just don't get like a very authentic wash. And I love denim. Sorry, I'm like admiring all the jeans on the floor. But yeah, I really, really like denim that has character to it, authenticity, whether it's vintage or new. It's gotta have a cool wash, cool story, um, slash just be very versatile. In terms of other things I look for, I typically look for straight leg denim. Um, you know, skinny, had its moment with me. I've moved on, no shade to anyone who still loves a skinny. I just really like straight leg denim. I find it more versatile. I'm going to say that like 800 times in this video, I'm sure. So strap in <laughs> everyone. But yeah, I just prefer straight leg. Um, anywhere from like a true straight to a slim straight is typically what I'm looking for. And beyond that, that's basically it. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the top notch denim. Let us speak of the sacred and most holy ribcage jean from Levi's. I think about two years ago at this point, Levi's launched their best fit, and that's a fact, that's not my opinion, uh, called the ribcage jean. It is sky high in its rise. Um, I'll leave all of the like measurements and things uh, in terms of rise and seam and all of that on each pair as I try them on. But like their name would suggest, it goes up to your natural waist slash Rib cage. It is literally touching those bottom bones of your rib cage, and I, I don't need anything else in life, truly. I have them in many washes. Um, the first pair I ever bought. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. I have so many. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. They're not maybe like the most affordable denim you could buy, but in terms of jeans that I can just like buy, not have to get them tailored. Like it just saves me a lot of time and energy. These are just so bomb. And I also don't have to go to the effort of like trying on a ton of vintage denim, although I will get into some vintage jeans that I love in this video, but you guys know that's not an easy feat to go into 800 thrift stores, vintage shops, vintage markets, what have you, and have to try on so many pairs of jeans. You're sweating, you might be crying. It's just like a very drawn out experience. So the fact that I can go in to a store slash online by my size, and get a really cool, authentic looking pair of super high rise straight leg jeans. 
you know, the, tw the year 2020 is not so bad. <laughs> um, wow, yeah, actually it really is, but okay, moving on. So the first pair I ever bought, I'll probably model, but I got these kind of medium wash that have a little destroy on the knee. And strangely, of all of the rib cages I've bought, these ones do fit the most snug. I'm like 90% sure they don't sell this exact wash anymore, but they'll sell something similar. And the fabric I think has changed ever so slightly in time. These ones have a very like soft, hand to them whereas the others um just have a slightly like drier hand so aside from that they are still a plus plus these are probably my number one most worn jeans like just of all of them and all of the rib cages and everything these are my go-to i also own rib cages in a slightly lighter wash i've got like this true blue sort of deal very classic almost like carhartt-esque I've got these sulfurs here, which are lovely. And of all of the fits, for some reason, these ones I would say are the most relaxed, but for what it's worth too, I'll just clarify, I'm a size 27 typically. Um, so I buy 27s in Levi's and yeah, I buy 27s in the rib cage specifically as well. So these are 27s and then the first like medium pair I showed are 27s and there's still like a little bit of variance in the fit, but not so much that I was like, oh my God, I have to return like one or the other. So I love them. And there was one time when Levi's was running a sale and they were like, <laughs> it's like usually the rib cages are excluded from sales just because they're so, I don't know, it's just like their top notch sort of exciting fit that everyone's all into as of late so they're like never go on sale but for some reason one day they were doing 40 percent off in the store and i was like even on rib cages and the guy at the store was like yes <laughs> is that a problem i'm like uh absolutely not that is not a problem i'll take a pair myself and so i got these uh light kind of creamy colored cords very cool love these can't rave about them enough if you just stop watching the video right now, that's totally fine. Just like, no, I love rib cages. And that's it. That's the tea, as they say, ladies and gentlemen, and everywhere in between. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to tell you how I'm going to style each pairs of each pairs, each pairs of these jeans. Each how I'm going to style each pair of these jeans. That okay. <laughs> we got there. We got there, boys. God, I mean there's a, you can style rib cages any which way. <laughs> so like what? How do I even answer that question? But more often than not, I wear them with like just a cool old t-shirt, perhaps, some sneaks, some burks, whatever. I actually think they look really, really nice with any sort of button-up shirt just because it can be a little dorky <laughs> depending on the vibe of the button-up shirt you're going for but as soon as you put them on with some rib cages all of a sudden you look like a cool girl a cool New York City girl or something I don't know I I've never lived in New York City so I don't know where that came from but forgive me I like them with like especially like a cropped sort of sweater in the winter time super easy to pull off any sort of kind of volume up top just because the rib cage really nips in your waist so much that you still get a very defined sort of silhouette and yeah I mean you can do no wrong truly with these jeans have I mentioned that I really like these jeans okay that's enough of that <laughs> from Everlane I want to highlight the high-rise straight jean and i need to be specific about that because i own another pair of everlane jeans that are i believe it's like they almost have the same name um so i bought these when i was in la recently and it was love at first try on um i have been searching high and low for something that has the rise of the rib cage but just a slightly more slim straight levi's if anyone at Levi's on the design team is watching this video, I doubt it, but I, it's a possibility. Please make your rib cage in a slim straight. No offense, I don't need the balloon jean. I don't even need the slim taper. I don't need any of this nonsense. I just need you to blow up the rib cage. I just want the rib cage. But since I couldn't get that, um, these Everlane jeans are amazing. They don't bag out. That's my issue with the other pair of Everlane jeans that I own for some reason. They just are snug and beautiful and have a really nice wash and have that really, really slim, straight leg that just 
kisses the top of your ankle in just such an attractive way. Um, so yeah, basically anything that I feel like I can't quite wear with my rib cages, which is not often, just because I want a slightly slimmer fit, these Everlane jeans are my go-to. So if I'm wearing like a more billowy sort of romantic uh, top, woven top, I would probably reach for these Everlane jeans. Or if I'm wearing something that I'm not even tucking in at all and I really just kind of want the emphasis to be on the uh, slenderness, the taperedness <laughs> of the leg, then I'll reach for these as well. So they're super great and they filled that void in my wardrobe that I was looking for for a while. My next favorite pair of jeans, I probably should not even be giving to this spot because they actually took a little bit of tailoring to become my faves, but once I did that, they reached holy grail status. And so if anything, before I even get into what I love about these jeans, I do just wanna say, if you have found a pair of jeans that's a good deal, perhaps a good price, you love mostly everything about them except for their gapping just ever so slightly at the waist, maybe it's worth it to get them tailored. It's not always worth it, but you know yourself best, you know the situation best. Um, there's actually somewhere here in the Twin Cities, um, unfortunately closed right now just because of this whole situation we're going through. Although maybe she's taking order, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll link her down in the description. It was 18 bucks for her to tailor my jeans. Yes, I said at the beginning of this video, I work in fashion and I could have just done that myself for free. Um, sometimes I'm lazy, okay? And to me, it was worth it to spend $18 to have the peace of mind of dropping my jeans off, getting them back, and they fit me perfectly, and I'm helping out someone's small business. So you can call me lazy, but I just like to say I am a helpful member of my community. So anyway, with all of that said, my next favorite pair of jeans are the Levi's 501s. Again, these are a comfort stretch. Um, these have like the same sort of slim straight leg that the Everlane ones do, but they're just like a washed black sort of wash. These are actually more of a high rise versus like a super high rise. Um, but I find that nice for just like sort of a casual jean. <laughs> I don't, I don't, for some reason, I don't like the word jean. These are great to just like throw on with a t shirt, some Burks, run some errands, or in the like more transitional months, a hoodie and a denim jacket and some like Vejas. It's just a cool vibe, friends. So the last category I wanna get into is a bit of a wild card and it's just vintage denim. I love vintage denim. Um, yes, I did mention at the, hello, can you hear the person out there keeps slamming their door so loudly. I believe I mentioned at the beginning of this video that it can be a nightmare shopping for vintage denim, that's true. However, when you find the perfect pair, there's nothing better, truly. So I wanted to highlight some of my favorite pairs of jeans. Um, I also just want to like shout out a little shop in Des Moines who does an amazing job at curating vintage denim. The shop owner is named Nicole and she owns a cute, cute shop called Preservation. If you're from Des Moines, I'm sure you're familiar with it, but she also ships across the US, perhaps internationally, I'm not sure, um, from her website. And while her vintage denim is quite expensive, um, without even thinking today, as I was like going through my denim collection, it was just a coincidence that the two pairs of vintage denim that I grabbed to talk about my favorite pairs of vintage jeans were from her shop. So while again, they are at about that $100 price point, which is a bit steep, if you love denim, if you wear it every day to your job, or it's just something that you do have you know the money to spend and you are just like i just want one good pair of like blue jeans one good pair of black jeans and that's all i need sometimes it is worth it to spend the extra coin up front but everyone's different you can get good jeans for like 30 bucks um so i'm not saying you can't i'm just saying i i have problems <laughs> So yeah, anyway, my favorite jeans from her are these Levi's 550s. These are the most, they're not the most relaxed jeans I own, but they're my favorite relaxed jeans that I own. These are my go-to like summertime weekend jeans. Like they're not overly cinching you in. Um, actually, I believe these are a 28. So I had mentioned, you know, I typically buy a 27, uh, be that vintage, retail, whatever. Um, these are 28s, so they're like comfy, easy, 
toss them on with like a bodysuit or something. If you wanna kind of balance the rest of your look, they're super, super simple. And I love how splattered and distressed they are. You can just tell they have a lot of character to them and they were very special. They, they mean a lot to me. I like them a lot. Um, and then another cool pair I got from her shop are from the brand Z Cavarici. So very 80s, very cool. Um, they've got this button fly and these are actually modified by the shop to have um, the belt loops lowered from the waistband so they have like a slightly paper bag effect. Um, got that slim kind of tapered fit. Um, these are something that I kind of like to let speak for themselves and maybe just style back to a t-shirt kind of like the one I'm wearing and call it good. They're just cool, you know? With that, those are all of my favorite jeans. So let me know what your guys' favorite jeans are and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, have a good one. Bye.